Hi, I'm Jessica Rudnicki with Reynolds & Reynolds. Welcome back to Connected. Today, I'm talking to the general manager of Joseph Volkswagen of Cincinnati. Bill Cullen is making a name for his dealership by successfully selling cars online nationwide. Let's get connected. Bill, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule. My pleasure. Yeah, so this is fun, and I'm very excited to interview you because you were recently featured in an automotive news piece that discussed how the automotive industry is finding new ways to sell cars during COVID-19. So your dealership specifically has been really successful with online retailing. Um, in the automotive news article, you mentioned shipping cars from your dealership in Ohio all the way across the nation to states like Florida and California. And as far as generating both local and national traffic to your website to make these sales, how are you able to attract those buyers? So what sort of advertising or marketing efforts are you using? Um, we're using Google AdWords. We have a lifetime warranty at our store uh, that sets us apart from a lot of the Volkswagen dealerships. Um, and and if, if your hometown doesn't offer the guarantee your transmission and engine for life, that's our why buy here. But as far as advertising to them, um, what's happened is to, prior to uh, when the COVID first came out, um, and, and even prior to that, here at this store, I've purchased from the manufacturers many, like, for example, the Volkswagen Beetle. Um, the Volkswagen Beetle, uh, I took as many as I could get my hands on. I traded for as many as I could get because I know that they're, it's going away. So if you have the cars, you can be able to sell the cars. To take it a step further, what we did is we had a pink Beetle. Uh, that car originally is white. The manufacturer tried to make that Beetle pink, um, and it turned out kind of fuchsia. And a lot of our customers said, well, that's not really pink. And I said, well, let's wrap one. So what we did is we wrapped this white beetle in pink. Um, when we put in our, in our Reynolds and Reynolds system on our, in, in the color pink, anytime someone's searching for a pink car nationally, because of the fact that Volkswagen had a pink one, those people were looking for that specific color. So instead of calling it white online, we called it pink. And what that did is people in Florida would search pink and they'd say, well, search out a thousand miles, search all stores. And then they came across our pink beetle. And then when they saw the pink beetle, we had the fact that we had um, online digital retailing, they were able to click and purchase the car. And our salespeople here are known, uh, uh, are, are trained to call that customer and congratulate them on their purchase and then interview them on why they purchased it online. Um, and they specifically said, well, we didn't want that pink one to go away. It was one of the only ones in the country uh, that was new that we found. And then we explained that it was a wrap and it was okay. And then we shipped them the car. Awesome. Yeah. I saw um, in the video that you did with automotive news, you held up that little postcard um, and I saw the picture of the pink, pink beetle. So that's really cool. Tell me about this commercial you did um, with the puppets. So that's our online. Uh, the puppets have, have always been our, uh, for the last three years, ha have been our way to try to differentiate ourselves from other car dealership, typical car commercials. Um, and we feel like it's a good way to get the consumer's attention the, the reason that's the reason we made the commercials because we had something to say that we wanted people to uh, we knew people were at home and wanted to uh, purchase the car right from their computer and pre COVID I've been trying to implement that um, I've been trying to simplify this business for two and a half years with making the cons consumer feel like well I can just buy it right online and it makes customers feel like they uh, they can buy a car and go through the process and, and make it simple. Um, and we noticed a lot of customers abandoning their shopping cart um, about 75% of the way through. And we think that's because they felt like once they purchased this car, it's like, oh my gosh, there's no way of going back. So um, when I noticed customers abandoning their shopping cart, I went ahead and put in a uh, three-day return policy to make them feel at ease that uh, 
that, that they could purchase a car and not have the worries of uh, being tied to that specific car if they change your mind about color or transmission. Right. Yeah, it's definitely been more difficult to, um, you know, showrooms were closed for a period of time and things like that. So it's good that you're finding new methods of, you know, making, putting your customers at ease. Um, yeah, we actually did a video back to the uh, puppet commercial. We, we recently did a connected podcast video uh, or episode about creating videos and grabbing customers' attention. So I thought that was a great example of that. So if any of our viewers haven't seen the car buying puppet commercial that Joseph Volkswagen of Cincinnati put out, go check it out. It's very creative. Um, Bill, I also want to ask out of curiosity because you seem to be ahead of the curve here. Um, so where do you see the future of automotive retail going, in your opinion? Um, definitely online. Um, definitely uh, the, the consumer does not like to wait. They don't like things that take time. Um, I mean, we, we all have smartphones. Um, everything is very fast. Um, and, and that, that's the way I see it going. I mean, you can, you can order groceries to your house. You can order food with DoorDash to your house. Um, and everything is about convenience. And so anything that makes this business convenient and customers don't like to come into the dealership and wait for hours uh, to process their paperwork. And they just want it fast. And so I believe that this business is going to be how fast that you can do everything from getting the car online um, to, 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 uh, to, to making an express checkout, express purchase. Uh, the faster that you can do it and, and the, the least amount of ramification to the customer um, with a good return policy, um, I, I feel like everything online is going to, uh, it, it, I think everything's gonna be purchased online in the future um, and it needs to be made simple where you can just build what you want and know that it's gonna be at your door in the next day or two. Really the fastest way a customer can purchase a car, the better. Perfect, great feedback. Um, I would agree and there are some amazing tools out there that can help you know, streamline that, that online buying process. So thanks for sharing your thoughts with us on that. And thank you again for being here today. Um, before we hop off and while we have the audience, Bill, is there anything else that you'd like to add or maybe any other tips or best practices you might want to share? Um, no, uh, just that, uh, again, if you're not, uh, if you're not a, ahead of the curve, you're going to be behind the curve. Um, and, and that's the buy the right tools to, uh, to make your business um, efficient and ahead of the game. Great advice. Thank you for being a valued Reynolds partner and it's been great talking to you. You too. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you guys as well. As we continue to navigate the effects of COVID-19 on vehicle sales, Bill provided some really great tips on how to be profitable and efficient selling online. We hope you'll be able to put them into practice at your dealership. Just a quick reminder before we hop off, you can watch or listen to past and future podcast episodes on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify by searching for The Connected Podcast. Subscribe on these channels to get notified every Wednesday when new episodes are released. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Wednesday. Mm -hmm.